G'day guys, Matt here and this is the Nerf Radar CS-35 um, I got it at $10 off at a special sale at Toyland which is pretty much just a small shop here at my town um, this is the one this is one of the last few that was in town I guess I was, I was gonna stop at the um, at the uh, at the Stampede Stampede gun, but um, you know, I wanted a close range combat weapon and I wanted something with a little bit more darts, um, you know, more capacity for darts because this has a 35 magazine drum, uh, and it was ten dollars off for the normal price, which was a bargain. So you got the back, and this, there's another box like this, but the other box had a bit more of a, a banged up. Like it was all like pushed in, like it was on the edge of uh, like a um, forklift container with plastic wrap and all that. So I just grabbed this one. This one has a bit of a push into it, so hopefully the gun's all right. I'll be taking it back after I do this review. But it has the drum. Has a nice. I love the blue camo than the yellow camo guns. Um, and it has an adjustable and removable magazine. Um, not magazine. Um. Uh, stock thing, whatever you call it. Pump action with a hand, much better with the uh, front. So when you're holding it, you're holding it with a uh, sort of thing. Um, and apparently, you can put this with your recon and your long striker, which long striker is my other favourite gun. Um, it always is my most favourite gun. But um, yeah. Hopefully I'll grab this, load it up, use it on this gun, then reload it, and then go in my bathroom and use um, it on the CMP. So, open it up. Hopefully this will be the last one. Because um, now there's nothing on special and I've got most of the guns um, I need. And this one comes out, out easy this time. And that's it there. Well, I use... um. Those wire ones this time. Okay, so that means I've got to go on the back and unscrew it. Whoops, unscrew it all. So I'll be cutting out this bit. Okay, after spending 10 minutes undoing this, uh, I've got the gun here. Very nice indeed, very detailed. Uh, there's a tag on here. Attach the nozzle cannon uh, which is the uh, which is this little bit here I don't need any attach it on like like that it looks like a attachment for a battery so you attach it on there I think it's that side or maybe it's that side I think this is one of those ones once you put in it stays stuck I think, yep, it definitely is. It's like um, the back part of the long striker. This is the uh, detached part. You can see there's a little thing there, and it's like the uh, the recon one. So you put that in there, and you pull a pull this orange tag. So I'll have it up the first tick. All right. We got the drum itself. It's bigger than my mate's one, so I'm going to have a better advantage. I think that's how you guys goes in. Oh, here on me. Let's pull that back. Insert. There we go, now it's insert. And now I'm going to reload this. And show you guys how it works after a short break. Okay, this one, when I'm test firing the gun, apparently you can rapid fire it by holding down the trigger and pumping it backwards and forwards. Um, I'm going to use the 18, the 18 mag. That, that's the one that came with the stampede. Because uh, I'm going to use the drum on the. Stampede, I don't want to grab all the bullets and reload it. 
um, straight away. So this just looks like more like a old type of gun. Look at the way it is. It looks really weird. It looks like a. <laughs> okay. So you can decide to shoot it once. Like that. Or you can hold it, hold the trigger. trigger like that and you can shoot more but it does tend to jam up on you like you have to end up pulling it pulling it more back or some sort and you can't do it as like some sort of way anyway that's, that's a really good way to shoot